Julius Malema, my boy, it's your new best friend, Hard Eddie Chana, with a couple of words of encouragement and some assistance to help you through this difficult time that you are having in just getting your new hatred and discrimination racism party off the ground. Now, but you, my boy, and let nobody else tune you differently. I know that you've been getting a lot of flack about this banner at one of your recent rallies where it said something along the lines of, the honeymoon is over in South Africa for white South Africans, or something to that effect. Now, unless you are referring to my good friends Gert and Chamune, who just got back from a lovely two weeks in the Seychelles, I think you are referring to the very cuck system of apartheid, which I would like to go on record as saying is one of the cuckest things that ever happened in the world. Make no mistake. Now, but here's what you don't know. Being unable to read, you've had no way of finding out that in the year 1990, which if you look at maths, which I know you don't, is approximately 18 years ago, apartheid was cancelled. And a further four years later, in 1994, the country was taken over by Black Oaks. Exciting it was. You don't believe me. I know you don't. Why? Because your life is still difficult. And because Black Oaks still have very little to show for it. This is because the ANC had every intention of building schools, hospitals and houses but instead discovered how flippant tit Mercedes-Benz M-classes are and decided to collect those instead. Some of them you will find near Latuli House, many others in KZN Foothills in Kandla at Jacob Zuma's own private hospital, house, entertainment mall, air force facility slash laboratory shopping experience where he lives. Now, where your anger is really directed is not at white people, my boy. Now, I'm going to stick with you until we get to the bottom of this, because in the Bible, it says that special needs oaks are God's special children. And but you are very special indeed. Direct your anger at Jacob Zuma. Back when it was all right for you to wear suits and spend thousands of rands on bottles of Cavassier and all of that, when you were still Jacob Zuma's 487th wife, everything was fine. Then he broke up with you. And now, all of this anger. He kicked you out of his party. He kicked you out of your 15 trillion rand house you were building and took away all your white tendencies like Italian suits, German cars and Swiss watches and now you are frustrated and upset. My boy, you have directed it in the wrong direction. But just to appease your anger and try to get you back on board, I'd like to explain that yes there are white nurses, Steve Hoffmeyer, and yes there are black nurses, you, but most of us are actually quite kiff oaks who just dig to drink a castle light, watch a bit of sport, and don't dig going to work on Monday. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to apologize on behalf of all white people for the atrocities that white South Africans have committed in the last 20 years. First of all, Steve Hoffmeyer. Sorry about that. There's nothing we can do. Believe me, we've tried. Secondly, Danny K, my least favorite of all the alphabet Dannys. But it's a disgrace and there is absolutely no excuse. And thirdly, the consistent cuckness of the Proteas One Day International squad. Again, it's in the hands of God. We are trying to remedy the situation. And with that, my boy, I wish you good luck with your racism and hatred party. I'm not going to try and point out the irony of all of your many statements of how racist all whites are. I'm just going to wish you good luck and say thanks for the entertainment, China. One day, when you get to learn to read, I'll write you a letter of encouragement. Hard Eddie for life.